Pano, we've, we've seen some very memorable wins here. This certainly has to rank as the highest, down to 10 men, very few subs. Did you honestly think you guys could pull it off, given how much game time you had to play against a very good side down to 10? Um, uh, ironically, yes. Um, I saw it in the eyes. You know, I told them I think we're more than capable of doing it. We've done it. You know, we did it last year with Doxa. We went down 10 men, losing 2-1. We won 3-2. You know, the belief is just unbelievable. And we have leaders. We have, you know, Jimmy Nilius and Cronus and Luis. You know, we have Rafa Diaz in goal. We have players that played in the USL and MLS. So it was never a doubt. You know, it was never something we couldn't believe. Now, uh, is it difficult? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Lansdowne are quality side. You see, they play good football. But, you know, I have to focus on my boys and I'm absolutely proud. And I, I just told them there's something there. Just keep going. And as the time goes on, as the time goes on, there'll be something for us. And... And Jordan came up trumps, you know, and it's, it's just, he's another phenomenal player, you know, so, yeah, it's great. I have to say, I think that's probably the best I've seen Jordan play. He was, he was really immense defensively and attacking the whole game. Do you feel like he's, he's grown into the side this last year? Oh, yeah, I mean, we, we knew his ability last year, but I think because he came at the point, we kind of were set. Uh, from the first second, he's been, you know, he's been playing the six and he's been, he's, he, I feel he's, because of his, Energy as the six has stepped, pushed us up a level. Um, you see his energy levels today. It was 10 men, he was up and down, scored the winner. Um, he's definitely pushed us to be a level more. So absolutely, he's, he's an unbelievable player, an unbelievable person too. He's amazing. We're always used to these Lansdowne games against Pan Cyprians being very emotionally charged. Was this the most difficult one emotionally, Just especially that last five minutes, the fact that you guys were so close to pulling off this pretty much a cut miracle? Yeah, it's emotion because... You know, they're, in, they're a strong side also. They bring emotion, you know, on and off the field. And, you know, it's just too tight and going pound for pound. And whenever we play, you know, whether one team is first or last, there's always going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a tough game. This is it's not a game, you know, that anyone can just walk through. So, listen, kudos to them. They're a great side. They play great football, you know. But I think, you know, everyone's going to say they think they believe they deserved it. But I think based on, you know, Federico's shot, Luis in the first half, you know, they had a post. But I think with 10 men, we, gro we ground it out, you know. I think we just showed maybe a bit more desire. I, I don't know what it is, you know, something, whatever happened, you know, we swung our way. So, you know, congrats to my boys and their effort. It's just amazing. I'm just proud to be, just proud to coach them, to be honest. It's a very proud night and you guys now through to the third qualifying round. It's a pretty good omen tonight about, about a cup fairy tale. D d do you feel like you guys could, could get maybe beyond the qualifying rounds? I mean, that's, that, that's what we want, right? We, we, we're realistic. This is not in the 80s where we can go and win it. You know, we, we, we want to get far enough to maybe play a USL team, you know, just get, get us on the map nationally again. And that's it. And, you know, that, that's the end goal. And if it happens, great, you know, and we'd like to be known as the last amateur team in the competition. But we know we're not going to win it. So, you know, our eyes on the State Cup and, and the EPSL and, the, you know, hopefully we win the State Cup to get to the Amateur Cup. But, you know, we have a deep roster, you know, we're always shuffling and mixing and we're always looking to improve, you know. It's the amateur world, so one day, you know, players are in and players are out. But, um, listen, it's, you know, we had 15, 14 players out that could easily, at least eight of them started. So, competition's there and I think that, that has propelled them to try even more, you know. And, you know, when you look at everyone's effort I'm not going to single out anyone but everyone's effort it's, it makes you think it's, it's going to be a problem next week you know almost I, I, I want absentees to make my life easier <laughs> so yeah I mean it's great they're all great great people love coaching them I know congratulations on a very very impressive victory very proud night and uh, we'll see you guys again soon and thank you as well for entertaining us you guys <laughs> always put it out of the back for us I, I think Game of Fame needs to start paying the pan sippers for the uh, <laughs> see all you, all, you, all you good omen you haven't we haven't streamed a game you've lost yet I don't think not oh, at home not at home good. All right. yeah so I'll, t I'll take the win bonus if that's alright but thank you alright all right. well done guys congratulations